all right so if you watched the last video of the tech startup series which is day 12 then you will understand what we will be talking about in this video so basically in that video all we talked about was how we are considering making a pivot to a different sort of business than the tech job finder application um it doesn't mean that whatever we posted in the past goes to shit if anything it's a learning opportunity and a lot of the code that we used in that initial application uh, will in turn be used in this application. So I'll walk through everything and you could see a little bit of the bottom part of the screen here. Um, <laughs> we'll be walking through the essen essentially just the product that we're making, the market research and uh, what I plan to do with this, uh, with this product. Uh, but I hope that you're not too upset about this. In general, it's just a YouTube channel. So if you're upset, man, come on. You know, this is a series about making things with tech and making money with tech. And I will show you why this product will make sense for this entire tech job platform, not tech job platform, for this tech platform that we're building and um, how it will make sense uh, for the future. But hopefully uh, in this lesson, not even lesson, just talking, um, you will understand what goes into the planning process, uh, what we plan to do with the product, monetization strategies, um, let's see, product development, which I just talked about, and finally, my plan and the long-term goal of this platform. And again, I apologize if, you know, we took a halt, but I think it was necessary and I think it was the right thing to do for the long term. I don't want to be four or five months into this. And it's something that I don't want. I'd, I might as well pull the cord now and then, um, you know, it's, it's much easier to just pull the plug now than it would be in a couple of months. All right. So this on the screen, what you see in my Notion template is what I want this new business to be. Now, I was thinking about it the other day and the tech job app just doesn't feel like the right fit for what we're building on YouTube and what goes with the entire brand of what we're building. Uh, this entire channel was built upon self-taught developers learning how to code and now we're doing something for people to start businesses with their own products. And personally, I thought to myself, it just feels a little clunky that we're building a tech job finder app as well as making products for self-taught developers. So we're having like a bunch of things. And I thought to myself, why not just make something for developers that I actually want and that could actually fit the brand a little better. Now, I'll go into exactly what that is, but just off the bat, this is not going to be a course platform. You know, it's not going to be one of those... Uh, I'm not going to name names, but uh, it's not going to be a platform where we promise you're going to learn Python th with our lessons. Okay. I want this platform to be where a self-taught developer comes in, looks at what we're doing and is relieved that he has a community content and strategies to become a developer. Okay. So basically what we are creating is, this is a lot of words, but it's a platform where self-taught developers can learn to be a programmer. Now, there are a lot, a lot of coding content out there. And I again, I don't want this to be a coding platform where you just learn to code HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. That's We could have that, but I don't want that to be the entire thing. Basically, again... It's where you go in, you learn via projects, you learn strategies on how to code and how to be a programmer, and you're off your way. So the main way and like the, the vision of this entire thing will be this right here. And I'm going to open it up for you right here. And I'm using Excali Draw. Let me just zoom out a bit. Okay. 
So this self-taught platform will have three main structures that we just talked about, okay? All the, are, are key in how I learn code and how people will learn code. It's structured and applicable learning, learning strategies, and finally the community, okay? 90% of people fail to learn code and the number is probably higher for self-taught developers. And when I was learning code, it was one of the scary things I've ever done. It was just uncertain and there wasn't enough information about the entire process of learning code. I found that there was a lot of content, like you could search on YouTube for learning JavaScript, but there wasn't much things about learning how to learn code, if that makes sense. And I feel like we could make a platform where, okay, there are courses on learning JavaScript, learning HTML and CSS, and we'll go into what that would be, but learning strategies and community is where I think we could have like a really, really, really helpful platform for uh, us self-taught developers. So basically by learning strategies, um, I mean this. So let's just go back here. Uh, learning strategies. So learning how to learn. Okay. So maybe making guides on how to build discipline, uh, learning how to learn, um, how to apply to jobs, uh, the mindset, you know, like these long videos and deep work guides that show the user what it will be like for them to be a developer and how to prepare for that journey and what to expect. Most importantly, I feel like, um, that would be very helpful for someone out there like myself who was in that position uh, that could benefit from this product, okay? Again, I want to repeat, this is not going to be a course platform, okay? Now, in terms of the content that's out there, um, I'm, again, I'm just going based off this and then we can delve deep into everything. I want it to be where you can go you can like, there will be content where you can learn HTML, CSS. That's what I plan to do. But everything that is learned will be projects. So maybe in the future we could have like developers who we hire developers to make videos and then they can make deep projects, making applications using, let's say making a site with HTML and CSS or making a full stack application using JavaScript so that self-taught developers, they could go ahead, go to free code camp, learn the contents there, and then they could come to us, do a project in like depth and actual like learning principles. And then they have something that they've learned. In addition, they have the learning strategies at their disposal. So they know how to do deep work. They know how to do focus work. They know the actual ways to learn code. Sorry, my, my mouth is getting so dry. All right. And as you see, um, if you're a business owner watching this, uh, all we're doing here is we're defining what we want the product to be, our customer avatar, like who we want that person to be, um, what the product will do, if there's a product like they're out there, um, validation and stuff like that. So in terms of who this will be for, it's kind of obvious. It's going to be for the self-taught developer out there who doesn't know how to code, who wants to learn how to code and doesn't want to go to a boot camp. And I feel like it's it's kind of weird how we don't have anything like this yet. Like the only person I know that has that is fireship.io who does it really really well. And I I kindly ask you to go check it out if you're interested, but he makes amazing videos on like a full Svelte course or Next.js course or a Supabase course. And these are amazing courses that, you know, I plan to do something like, but where a lot of people have missed the mark is learning how to learn. And I feel like if we make a platform with this sort of content over here and a way to actually learn how to learn code, we could really build something that is amazing. So again, it's for self-taught developers. Um, next thing, you may be asking is how will this be enticing for the customer, right? It's uncertainty, you know, self-taught development is very uncertain. And again, 90% of people fail. And I feel like if we have this form of like, quote unquote, university, a platform for like all self-taught developers to come, we could have like weekly calls, 
we could have a community on Discord and just build something where we hold each other accountable. We have this sort of community where we can all learn code and know what is going on, sort of like university, but for self-taught developers, essentially. And I think that would be enticing for the, the user um, because they don't have that. And I think that's like the main issue with self-taught development. A lot of Reddit questions, a lot of, you will see a lot of keyword ideas where people are searching questions and want to know. A lot of searches surrounding this issue. And I think we could attack this and really solve a problem in the market. Now we already went through market differentiation, but all we're doing is lessons and content on code. So for example, like a JavaScript course, Next.js course, as well as lessons and content on how to learn code, like guides on strategies to learn code. And uh, yeah, so now we can actually go into the key word ideas, which I love, okay? So a simple search on the keyword planner, which I love, this is where we can see how many things are being searched. It's called, you, you go to Google ads, but then you go to keyword planner. Essentially, the amount of searches for how to code, how to learn code, uh, front end simple, which is a front end development bootcamp, coding bootcamps, best coding languages, Python programming. There is a lot of sites and searches and a need to learn code. And I, I think this is not like a guarantee of that there's a need, but I think if we position ourselves in a way where people who are who do want to learn to code can come here, that would be um, a good selling point for a lot of people. So the keyword ideas, again, is a great way to test things out. And let's see, what else did I want to cover? Monetization, that's actually the last thing we want and the long-term vision. So monetization, I think right now, based off what I've seen, it's either going to be a subscription based or a one-time fee where the user could pay like five, six dollars a month for all the contents or I don't know like how much, but I want this to be the place for self-taught developers and I don't, obviously we want to make this profitable but also we want this to be accessible to the user so that they could learn code in like an affordable way while also having that, that guidance that they, they, they really want and the, the community that they really want. So again, monetization, we can kind of worry about the actual way, but for now, I think we could make money off of this, simply put. And again, we don't want this to be the only metric of, of success. But it is a business at the end of the day, and it is a tech startup at the end of the day. So going based off that and, you know, having that subscription subscription based thing or one time payment fee is like a good guiding post for what we want the platform to be. And this will obviously fund more things in the future. So if let's say we make, I don't know, 100 sales of $10 a month, I don't know that's a thousand dollars a month that we could then put back into the business, maybe hire some developers, sorry, hi hire developers to make content on the platform so that we could um, make better content and use this to expand whatever we're building. Now, finally is the long-term vision. I want this to be a place for all self dot developers to know is available to them. For me, I didn't know, I, I had no idea what to do. I didn't know how to learn. I didn't know the process. Everything was so new. Everything was so scary that I quit multiple times. And I think the long-term goal would be to clarify everything for a self-taught developer. They know what they're getting themselves into and they have a structure and a way to learn code without going to a boot camp or a university because maybe they can't afford it, maybe they don't want to, and they just want to do it on their own in a safer manner. That's what I want it to be. A platform for self-taught developers to come, learn code, and eventually um, leave the platform so that they could you know, build their own apps and, and do their own thing because that's what we want at the end of the day. Okay, now, in terms of what I want the content to be on this channel, I'm going to make myself bigger because we're done with that. 
in terms of what I want the content to be for the tech startup, at least, I want this to be a businessy sort of tech and business and coding part. But I just want to walk you through everything I'm doing. You know, I'll show you everything, all the code. It'll be open source. The code will be open source. So you can see, you can push things, you can do pull requests, whatever. But all I want is for this to be where I'm documenting and you're seeing in real time what I am doing to make money, to build a product, to do research, to fail so that you can do your own thing or, you know, join the join the project. But at the end of the day, I, I think I missed I missed a huge mark over the past uh, 12 videos or 11 videos where I'm kind of just talking about it, like what I'm doing exactly. Like I'm just walking through the code that I'm writing when instead what I should be doing is showing you the code, showing you the behind the scenes, but also walking through what I'm thinking, the day to day life of what I'm planning out. Like, for example, um, how I'm writing this, you know, how I am planning out a business pro pursuit, how I'm researching, not just showing you the afters, but also the in, in time work and some of the, the real time coding so that you have a better understanding of what it's like to not only code, but code in a businessy sort of environment. You know, I think that's what we missed last time. It was a lot of just too much coding and not enough mix of coding in business. And I think this would be the perfect thing because it fits what we're doing here on YouTube. Okay. We're building this platform because for self-taught developers and this channel is for self-taught developers. And I think they would go really well together. And, um, a lot of lessons will be learned from this. And again, you know, who knows, maybe in the future we switch it up again, but I think this we're, we're in this, in the same, we're in this good uh, road where I think we made the wrong turn eventually. Uh, we made the wrong turn at first, but now we are on our way. I think with the right amount of effort now and the right amount of research and time, I think we could build something really valuable for self-taught developers and something that the market hasn't um, made yet. So we're, the, the content is obviously going to change. You know, we're going to get better at it. We're going to buy more equipment. We might hire some people. But just understand that we're always striving for improvement. And just because we weren't able to fulfill this idea doesn't mean that we failed. It just means that we pivoted and now we know in what direction to go. It's kind of like making the wrong turn while driving to a destination. Like, are you going to quit driving to your destination if you take the wrong turn? No, you just, you know, you go through the wrong turn. You find the entrance back into the freeway or like back to where you want to go and you just change. Like, that's what we're doing here. I hope that's fine with you. But I think this would be for the greater good doing it now rather than in a couple of months where we already built something and making the switch is just much more difficult. Again, I'm going to try to show you more of the, the business side and as well as the actual coding. It will be way longer videos, but will be more in depth more deep so that if you are a business owner, you want to start your own tech company, or you do want to uh, start learning code, not only will you have the platform to learn code. So you have that, that, that tech, uh, the, like the actual software that we're building, but you will also know exactly how we are building it. So it's like a, it's full circle basically. So you have the platform, but you don't actually know, you, you know how it was built and what it took to actually build it. So I hope that makes sense. I hope you understand what the, the purpose of this is. I believe it will be for the greater good. And I hope you'll stick along for the journey because the content is going to get a lot better. We're going to make it more interesting, longer and uh, better. No homo. Longer and better. Uh, <laughs> anyways, okay. So I'm going to end the video here. I hope that, you know, you, you understand. And yeah, I'll see you on day 14 of the tech startup. Peace.